Welcome to the Insight Graphics 2020.2 release spotlight. In this release, we focused on dramatically improving support for developers that use Vulkan, as well as introduced a new way to work with Microsoft Visual Studio. First, while we've already had support for most of the new Vulkan 1.2 extensions, the addition of three new extensions means that we are now fully compatible with Vulkan 1.2 applications. This includes support for timeline semaphores, a critical new feature that should greatly reduce the need for host site synchronization and the number of synchronization objects Vulkan applications are required to track. GPU Trace is a powerful low-level profiler that has been extremely useful for Windows developers that use Direct3D 12. With this release, it's now possible to profile Vulkan applications using GPU Trace as well. This includes not just Windows, but Linux Vulkan applications. In addition, we've added a new advanced mode that allows for collection of many more metrics, such as warp stall reasons. These metrics may be used to identify performance limiters that result in poor performing shaders. To use advanced mode, simply select the advanced mode config set in the project connection dialog. Advanced mode relies on aggregating data over multiple, ideally identical frames. We recommend pausing the scene to reduce the variance that could be introduced. You can see this variance across captured frames in the ranges table. Specifically, we calculate a median value of all results of a specific user marker range and color it red if variance is too high. To learn more about advanced mode, please read the docs. Despite the removal of graphic support in Insight Visual Studio Edition, we still wanted to ensure a great experience for those that primarily develop in Microsoft Visual Studio. To make this possible, we now provide a new extension that integrates Insight Graphics with Visual Studio. With this new Visual Studio integration, you have the ability to quickly select an Insight Graphics activity to use, and Insight Graphics will launch with that activity and your Visual Studio project's debugging settings. This frees you from having to keep your settings in multiple places and allows you to quickly start debugging or profiling your application in your preferred environment. Modern graphics APIs allow developers to code very close to the metal, but can also make it easier to accidentally create GPU crashes and lost device issues. With the Insight Aftermath SDK 2020.1 release, we've added Vulkan support in addition to the existing Direct3D 12 support. Insight Aftermath was created to give developers the information you need to determine the root cause of these problems, both during development and after your application has shipped. After a GPU crash, you can open the crash dump file in Insight Graphics to see the details of the GPU state down to the offending shader lines in SpearV or GLSL or HLSL. Thank you for watching and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests, and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA GameWorks channel.